Hola estudiantes, today we're going to talk about Sayer and a star. Please have your note guide out and ready. So Sayer means to be, and we're going to talk about how to conjugate Sayer in all forms. So on the right hand side of your note guide, I want you to fill out all forms of Sayer. In Spanish, if I want to say I am, I say yo soy. If I want to say you are, I say tu eres. If I want to say he or she is, I say usted, el, ella, es. If I want to say we are, I would say nosotros somos, and they are, ellos son. Soy, eres, es, somos, son. So in Spanish, um, we use ser for different reasons. We use ser when we're talking about description, occupation, characteristic, time, origin, and relationship. So I came up with the acronym DOCTOR. This is the reasons why you use SAIR. Now I'm going to talk about some, I'm going to give you some definitions in English. If I wanted to say the boys are tall, I could say the, I, that would be description. Los chicos son altos. Or if I'm talking about occupation, I could say she is a teacher, or she is a professor, or she is a doctor. Ella es una maestra. Ella es un doctor. If it was a characteristic, like I'm serious, or I'm tall, or I'm funny, I would use ser. Soy seria, soy chistosa, soy alta. For time, you would use ser. It is Tuesday, and it is 9 a.m. Es martes, son las nueve por la mañana. Origin, they are from Indiana. Son de Indiana, or somos de Michigan. We would also use it for relationship. She is my friend. Ella es mi amiga. Or ella es mi hermana. When you think about ser and the reasons why you would use it, ser is the verb to be, and it's the verb that is permanent. These things don't change. So that's the reason why you would use ser. And for all of these, description, occupation, characteristic, time, origin, and relationship, these are things that are pretty, pretty concrete. So let's practice in Spanish. On your note guide, I want you to fill out um, the correct form of ser. Maybe you could even stop the video and try to write the right form of ser before I give you the answer. So I could say, los chicos son altos, the boys are tall. Son agrees with the subject, chicos. Or I could say, she is a teacher, ella es una maestra. Or I could say, I'm serious, soy seria or soy serio, depending if you're a boy or a girl. Time, es Marte y es las nueve de la mañana. Origin, son de Indiana. Or relationship, ella es mi amiga. Bien. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the verb estar. The estar also means to be, and we use it for temporary things in life. I conjugate estar in these ways. Please fill out the note guide, the box on the top left-hand corner that says estar. If you wanted to say I am, you would say estoy. If you wanted to say you are, you would say estás. If you wanted to say he or she is, you would say está. If I wanted to say we are, I would say estamos. And they are están. There's an accent over the A and the two, usted el ella, and ustedes ellos ellas form. Don't forget these. Also, with estar, I have an acronym that will help you remember estar, and it is place, position, location, action, condition, and emotion. Here are some examples in English or English. I am sitting down. Estoy sentado or estoy sentada. The food is in the cafeteria. La comida está en la cafeteria. I am talking, the present progressive. We'll learn more about this next year. Estoy hablando. Condition, she is tired. Ella está cansada. Emotion, we are happy. Están contentos, or I'm sorry, estamos contentos. So let's talk about these in Spanish. You might even wanna fill out, or try to fill out the correct form of the verb estar before I show you the answers. 
So if I wanted to say I am seated, you're not always seated, right? It's temporary. So if I said I am seated, I would say estoy sentado or estoy sentada. Location, you're not always in the cafeteria. La comida está en la cafeteria. Action, I am talking. Estoy hablando. Condition, I'm tired. Estoy or está cansada. An emotion. We are excited or happy. Estamos contentos. So you can see all of these examples are things that are temporary in life. You're not always seated or in the cafeteria. You're not always talking, tired, or happy. So these are all good representations of the verb estar. Bien. Okay, that's it for today. Be ready for your flip mini quiz over Sarah and a star the next time that we come to class. Adios.